Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Legend of Runeterra. Another day, another video, and this time it is a recommendation from Lovin. Love you guys. Anyway, today it's Plunder Gnar. Gnar is for mana cost, quick attack champion. So if he is attacking, he attack before his blocker. When he strike, he create poke stick in his hand. To mana cost fast spell that deal one to anything then draw one if you already have one reduce it cost by two so if you have it it become for free at the end of the round if you have damaged the enemy nexus this round he level up gain overwhelm now he gives the strongest enemy vulnerable if, if the strongest enemy already have one he will give the second one etc etc at the end of the round if you have if you start the round with the attack token, he go back into NAR. And this is the transform Q, uh, mechanic. And that is why we also added Shift Nakotak. When an ally transform, fully heal it and grant it plus one attack and defense and impact. That is two ends, not English. Anyway, so when nar level up he will heal gain impact at the end of the round he go back to being mini nar heal another impact and we can stack impact a lot since lovin asked for plunder i had to put samira in when i am summoned or strike she create play a flare in hand or if you already have one reduced cost by one a flare will allow her to grant an ally samira challenger so she can choose which enemy will block her or deal one to the enemy nexus. If, uh, if she has seen you play six cards, seen means she is on the field when you are played six cards, reset uh, when you start a round with the attack token. So I have two rounds to gain this condition. She level up. Now, when you play six cards, rally, each two rounds she reset so you have the same uh, condition to level up you need to use it to gain a rally rally will allow you to if you don't have the attack token to gain one and you can attack this round and she becomes three damage instead of two what we need is flare mostly so that we can activate plunder plunder is a mechanic that allow some units if you have if you have damaged the enemy nexus beef this round before you summon this unit or this card it will give an additional effect for example dam the this spoiler if you have damaged the enemy nexus before you summon him he give all allies on the field plus one damage and you have quite a few combinations this is really good mostly because Nar's followers are mostly along the line of the Minity. 7 mana cost. At the end of the round, if you have damaged the enemy nexus, the same as a plunder unit, transform me into Megati. That at the start of the round, transform the strongest enemy. Strongest means the highest damage. If to have the same damage, highest health, if they have the same one, highest cost. Into a 3 damage, 3 health, mini minity. And silence it. It cannot block. Silence means it will remove all positive keywords. And it cannot block us when we attack. Of course, this is the strongest one. And we have quite a few. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. So today we are playing against Zed and Kalista. Interesting choice. Okay, I will reload these. So with Zed, when he attack, he's three mana cost, quick attack. So he will strike before his ally, his enemy. When he attack, he summon an attacking living shadow with his stat. Living Shadow are 3 damage units with Ephemeral 
keyword so the unit will die when it strike or when the round end once he see himself or allied living shadow strike the enemy nexus twice he level up and now the living shadow will gain the same positive keywords as him okay no need to make a name for myself just an impression i have samira down so he need to strike twice to level up so i always need to sacrifice some unit to prevent that then we have Kalista, 3 mana cost, fearsome unit. Once she sees 3 allies die, which is why he need the ephemerals, she level up and when she attack, she revive and attacking ephemeral copy of the strongest dead allied follower this round. They are bounded and in take damage for me. Okay, I am gonna use the flare. Then Basti uh, beat Sealy's up. So once she attacks, she summons an ephemeral copy of the strongest dead ally follower, and they are bounded. So when she level up, when she attack, her, the damage she take will go to the follower instead, which is busted. I will tell you that. Smart. Actually smart. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have the Daring Demolisher, which will allow me to deal one to the enemy Nexus or activate Plunder. Then I have Pirocade, which will allow me to deal one to anything and stun an enemy. I am gonna use it to deal one to his Moonlight Green Keeper. I am doing this so that next time he cannot use Samira, uh, he cannot use it to kill my Samira. Unless he can do this. Okay. Nice. Now we can counter them by using Nar. We are going to attack, he will defend against Samira. We are going to use Samira all out. Okay, never mind. Let's save Nar. Samira all out allows us to give an ally plus 2 damage for this round. If we activate Plunder, it will give him plus 2 health as well. Let's attack. He need to defend. Either way, Nar will level up. Since we have Lava Lizard, which has impact, so when you attack, whatever happened, it will deal one damage to the enemy next. Okay, and next round we have Poke Stick to get rid of Greenland Duo. He has one hollow, okay. Okay, Mega Nar leveled up. Okay, come on. Let's summon Sheath. Nakotak. Nice. I need to keep two mana at least. But da, 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 da. let's summon Bitsy Lizard. If he attack, come in, come in. use Poke Stick to get rid of Greenland Dew. Okay, let's take the two, three damage. Acceptable for me. Okay, so transform the unit into 
So we can use Minimorph to get rid of Kalista. Not bad. For first, I am gonna use Darling Demolisher to deal one damage to the enemy Nexus. This will activate Plunder. Okay, not good. I'm not that worried about him healing himself. I am more worried about the fact that he will level up Kalista this round. Okay, can't be helped, but I am gonna use Dim the Despoiler, which will grant all allies plus one damage. Then I am gonna use Pirouette to deal one damage to Z and stun Kalista. This will mean <laughs> this will mean that when I attack, he does not have any way to kill my Samira and I am gonna kill at least one of his champions. A bit underdressed. Mm -hmm. You are wearing that. Okay, that is fifteen damage. I take it. And I have mini morph which allow me to transform a unit into three attacks, three defense mini mini key and silence. Okay, let's do this too. Kalista. I cannot let him attack with her. Okay, let's use Flare. Deal one damage. This will allow Nar to level up next round. So when we attack, it will be devastating. They won't suffer long. Okay, I will sacrifice two units. Okay, let's sacrifice three. I will have six, uh, six damage, so three health. He will have no unit to defend against. Especially when I transform into Meganar. And attack directly. Sorry. I will transform him into mini mini morph. It is a burst spell, so he cannot stop it. And attack. He will defend. That is three damage plus flare. That will deal one more damage. And no counter attack. Simple yet perfection. Hope you like the video, if you do, please share, subscribe, hit the notification button and put in the comments what other champions or deck you like to see next. Bye!